The smartphones are powerful enough now to be your primary mobile computing device. You can do everything on a smartphone that you would do on a laptop. You can run virtual client environments, so you can have a full uh, Windows 10 view that looks just like your laptop environment running right on your smartphone. And all the power of that is in the smartphone itself. I'm Diana Blast with CRN TV outside Samsung's offices in New York City where we just got a sneak peek at the Galaxy S9. What I've got is a, um, a ticket price guide uh, that's in Italian. No setup required, just point your camera where you need answers and the phone will instantly detect and translate the language. It's showing me that same information in English. It's one of many features that has Samsung pitching the Galaxy S9 as the camera reimagined. I'm most excited about the, the range of, of new capabilities and features that we're adding to the device. I'm in the, the makeup mode. Samsung's intelligence platform known as Bixby is integrated into the camera. And, and I'm going to start by giving myself some eyebrows. How exciting is that? <laughs> In this application, Samsung's partner with Sephora to let users try on makeup as they shop. Oh, actually, I've, I've given myself a little eye uh, liner or glitter or something like that. I'm not a makeup expert. <laughs> the camera also offers expanded low light capabilities and super slow motion video. So it's recording and capturing 960 frames per second. The phone will even add background music to set the scene. So if it's a very active experience, the music will be a little bit faster and more energetic. And then how do you make these into GIFs? So what we can do now, we can actually go into our gallery and they populate over here. So and then Google, there's table, Dex, the platform uh, transforming your phone into a desktop. Two fingers holding down will move a window. Samsung updated the dock then, to allow for the phone for to be example, used as a touchpad. I can then do pinch and zoom. The Galaxy S9 is also the first smartphone to support the new SmartThings app, a central hub for users to manage other Samsung or non-Samsung connected devices. It's part of the tech giant's push to make all devices intelligent by 2020. SmartThings now becomes a centralized source for how I control and, add and manage and get access to all of these other devices. Now the phone officially launched at the Mobile World Congress event in Barcelona on Sunday. Pre-sales start on March 2nd and the phone officially goes on sale March 16th. No word on the price. I'm Diana Blast. Stay with CRN for more updates on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Okay, great. Could I um, see the makeup one? Absolutely. <laughs> it was a crowd pleaser. It's fun, right?